Hey there, this is René Molenaar for GNS Trivolt, and I'm going to show you how to solve the Unicast Reverse Path Forwarding Lab. So, uh, URPF, in short, what does it do? Um, basically, your router is going to drop all IP packets. Um, if the source IP address of the incoming IP packet does not match whatever it has in its routing table for that interface. Um, so you can use this to, um, to block IP spoofing. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you how this works. And what are we going to do? I'm going to configure router mirror so all traffic on this interface will be dropped if the source IP is spoofed and I'm also going to do this on the other interface. So both interfaces of router mirror. Now let me show you how this works. So if we do show IP route on router mirror, you can see all the entries that we have. So there's an entry for OSPF, this network, and we learned uh, about that network on this interface. There's a 1111 IP address, it's a loopback. We learned it through this interface. So this is what we have, but normally your router is not going to check the source IP. It only cares about destination IP because that's what a router does. Now I'm going to set up a URPF and what I'm going to do is create an access list that says deny IP any any and I want to log it. The next thing is IP verify which is not available on this one. Maybe it's on the interface. Okay, so it's an interface command. IP verify, and it says per packet validation for unicast. And I'm going to check for the source, reachable, and I'm going to do Rx. So there are two things you can do. Source is reachable via any interface or source is reachable via interface on which packet was received. So that's the difference between strict or loose um, URPF. And I'm going to choose for Rx because there is only one interface. If you have multiple uplinks, you need to choose for the any option. So I'm going to do Rx and then I'm going to do access list 100. Alright, so let's see if this is working. Let me check this router. So there's a loopback here. Let's see what happens if I try to do a ping. There we go. So let me show you the topology picture again. So I'm sending a ping from router catch to the loopback of router flash. And that's working because my source IP address will be from this subnet over here. Now let's create an IP packet from a source that is not known, or not in the routing table of router mirror. So let's go to router catch again and let me check my OSPF configuration. Um, okay, let's create another loopback. Loopback 1, IP address. There we go. Uh, so I'm creating another loopback. And I'll have to change my OSPF configuration because I did a network 0000, and now it will advertise everything. So let's go to OSPF. And let's type in the network commands. So I only want to run OSPF on that interface. The first loopback. And I don't want to run OSPF on any interface. So let's see if OSPF is still running. Yes, it is still working. Oké, 
Okay, so what did I just do? Show IP interface brief. I created another loopback interface, loopback1. This is the IP address. This is the IP address of loopback0. And this is my fast ethernet. Now if you look at router mirror, there's an entry for this subnet and there's an entry for this one. But there is no entry for the 11 network. So let's see what happens if I send a ping and I'm going to source it from loopback 1. There we go. So now you can see URPF is working because it says denied ICMP from this source towards this destination. And it's being blocked because this address over here is not in the routing table. So that's it. And you can see that it matches my access list over here. Um, so that's it. That's how you do it. Um, okay, so I did it on one of the interfaces. Let me enable it on the other one as well. And that's just a basic command. So go to this interface and we do the exact same thing. There we go. So I did this, I did this one, and there's one more task, it says configure router mirror, so all dropped packs are locked. And I did that because I have the lock command in my access list. There we go. Here it is. Deny IP any any lock. That's all that you need. So that's it. That's how you can configure URPF. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and till next time.